it's Ms. Dwyer and welcome to my home. My husband and I live in a log house and that's pretty cool. It's a pretty fun house to live in, but it's got some unusual features to it. One of them is that it's got a loft in it. So this loft behind me is where we like to watch TV. We like to just be cozy up there. It's nice and warm because the wood stove sends the heat right up into our loft. But the way to get there is up this ladder. Now I also have two dogs, I have Border Collies, and every once in a while, if my Border Collies are doing a really good job of being quiet and being good dogs, I'd like to send them a treat. But I don't wanna to have to come down the ladder every single time that I wanna give my dogs a treat, and they can't climb up it, so they can't come to me. So I thought it might be fun for our lesson today to design a system to get a treat from up here in my loft down to the ground. Now maybe you have a place in your house that you would like to send something from one spot to another without walking it there yourself. So maybe you could design a system for your own home too. So let's get started. I'm gonna keep track of my progress in my science notebook. So I'll start by writing down the problem. How do I send a treat down to my dogs without leaving my loft? To brainstorm solutions, I thought about things other people had done. I was pretty inspired this Halloween by some of the snack delivery systems that people had. So that was one idea. But I also thought about other ways that people move things from one place to another, using things like pulleys or zip lines or something like that. So I thought maybe I could try one of those ideas. I wrote everything down in my science notebook so I could choose the best solution for my situation. Next, I'm going to choose one of my design ideas to try to make an actual system. I think I'm going to try making the zip line. The next step was to choose my materials. For this project, I chose some string from my kitchen, some cardboard, scissors, tape, and a couple of paper clips. Then I started to build. First, I set up the zip line itself using the string tied to the loft and something on the floor. Jake was pretty interested in that part. Next, I had to design something to hold the snack on the way down, so I just made a little box and taped it together. Finally, it was time to put the system together and see if it worked. Well, I'll tell you, I tried a couple different things and I found a couple of problems. How do I make sure the snack actually slides down the string? How do I make sure it doesn't go down so fast that it bonks a border collie in the head? I'll keep working on my system until I come up with the perfect snack delivery system. But how about you? Is there something that you'd like to move around inside of your home? What kind of system can you come up with? Try experimenting with ramps, with pulleys, with zip lines like mine, anything to try to move something from one place to another. I'd love to see what you come up with, so send me a picture if you design one. I'll see you next time.